Hey, Ranger Terry here. I'm at Santee State Park and I'm gonna take a hike down the uh, Limestone Nature Trail and uh, hopefully come across some interesting things. We'll see what we find today. Uh, so I invite you to join me as we go and see what I find, but more importantly, hope to see you out in the parks uh, trying to find your own discoveries. All right, we're gonna do a little safety ID here. Uh, I wanna point out Poison Ivy, for those of you that aren't familiar with Poison Ivy, uh, I want to look at this three leaf plant or three leaflet plant right here. Uh, that is a classic Poison Ivy leaf. Uh, if you look at the two outside leaflets, look like they have mittens with little thumbs on the outside. Um, but you can see that all the leaves on that plant have three leaflets. Um, classic saying is leaves of three let it be and the uh, name on the scientific name on poison ivy is toxicodendrons or toxic plant or poisonous plant so uh, it certainly is for me and probably lots of others of you guys out there uh, so it's good to be able to identify it um, you can see this is one of the growth forms sometimes you'll see it growing up the side of a tree but this is more of the herbaceous look um, where it is kind of a ground covering and you can see how uh, dominant it is in this small little patch of area so that's poison ivy leaves a three let it be and stay safe out there one of the small flowering plants this is a uh, spotted wintergreen also known as Pip um, This particular wildflower um, is just past the blooming stage. I've been looking, I've been finding several on the ground floor, and all of them have uh, gone past the bloom and are now into the fruiting stage. But really and truly, this plant is probably uh, just as easy, or maybe easier, to identify uh, just by uh, the leaf itself or the leaves um, you can see the patterns on this particular one um, are really nice um, highly delineated and easy to uh, identify so again that's uh, spotted wintergreen you can see that all over the state not just here at Santee State Park but this one uh, grows all the way from the coast up, up into the mountains. So pretty ubiquitous. Uh, so whatever park you are traipsing around in, keep your eye out for spotted wintergreen. All right, earlier we had learned about leaves of three, let it be. Well, this is actually uh, another leaves of three that's uh, a really nice wildflower. Uh, this is Jack in the Pulpit, and it's actually past its blooming stage, but there is a flower that's uh, gone to fruit, or going to fruit, but I'm going to swing over here, and that is the actual fruiting body of the Jack in the Pulpit. So... It has a when it when it's in bloom, it has uh, flowers inside of a tube, and uh, that's why they call it Jack in the Pulpit because they're inside of a, a tube. But uh, there we see kind of what it looked like. You can kind of make out what was the tube, the flower tube, and it pretty soon that's gonna fade away and the fruiting bodies right there will be left. Again, sometimes we just happen upon really cool things. Uh, this happens to be the remains of a luna moth. Um, luna moth bodies are pretty large and uh, foxes and other Predators would love to make a meal out of them, and this guy looks like that's exactly what happened to him. So, anyway, just a neat little moment.
sometimes you gotta take a moment and be quiet, let nature kind of do its thing, and that deer finally noticed me. I know I'm out looking for some wildflowers right now, but I just want to give a shout out to some birders, give you a quick listen to the forest here at Santee. Hope to see you in the parks. So I'm walking around the Limestone Nature Trail. And uh, although I'm out for wildflowers, just wanted to take a moment, point out this fungus. Uh, it's one of the, the coral funguses. Um, I'm not great with fungus ID. Um, but I'm pretty sure these are uh, a coral fungus. Pretty cool looking. Um, the stemming and branching that's going on with it. Um, some of the quick sites I looked up, just to verify, um, said some of them are edible. Um, I don't recommend anybody eating anything unless you uh, absolutely know it. But just the, the look of it. Um, Popping up barely through the leaf litter um, was pretty cool. Cool enough to get my attention and to take a moment and show you guys. Again, that's one of the coral funguses. Easy to see how it gets its common name. Some fungus just really look cool. Not even sure what they are. Pretty, pretty tall. And uh, you can see as they emerge. They almost look like a hat. Um, and then they widen out as they mature and get ready to drop their spores. Now here's a nice find. Uh, butterfly weed. One of the Asclepius or milkweeds. Uh, great butterfly larval food. Uh, as well as uh, adults. Um, the larva will eat up the leaves and eventually um, as caterpillars, when I say larva, they're caterpillars, uh, and eventually go and crawl away when they've uh, had uh, grown sufficiently and then uh, form a chrysalis and eventually develop into a butterfly and fly away. So uh, butterfly weed, nice, nice example of the milkweed family. Right near the butterfly weed was uh, a sensitive briar, uh, which is a low growing vine with small thorny uh, stems. We can see the uh, close-up of the flowers though and several uh, insects that are utilizing it right now, small pollinators. Um, very cool looking low growing vine. This pretty little white flower uh, is a little bit deceiving. This is spurge nettle, um, also called tread softly. Uh, probably more appropriate because it is uh, a plant that will stick with you, literally, if you look at those little spines or hairs along the leaves and the stems. Um, if you happen to brush up against them, they will uh, embed and cause a, a rash and actually can cause a reaction for some folks. But we'll enjoy this one from afar. Uh, Burge nettle or tread softly.